Hi, this is Gertjan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, we're going to get started with Prime Faces, Java E7, and NetBeans 8. We get started by creating a Maven based application. Here you see the Maven application started up in NetBeans. You also see the navigator shows all the goals from the palm in that particular project that is now selected. So we can run all those goals directly from the navigator. We've also set the embedded browser internally inside NetBeans, so we'll deploy not to an external browser. Also, you can see the data that we're going to be showing in the application and working with. And we see Glassfish has been started up. We're quickly going to start by undeploying what is deployed there, so that Glassfish is completely ready and empty and there's nothing deployed to it at the moment. We first of all create some JPA entity classes. We point to the data source that you just saw. We point to our customer table and two others are included for its foreign key relationships. We can come back here and recreate those JPA entity classes if our database changes. And we now have three JPA entity classes created. So we open one of them. It's just a plain old POJO as you would expect from JPA with some annotations added to it. But for the rest it's a plain old Java object. The nice thing is that inside of the annotations we can use code completion to complete the SQL queries within the named queries. Our JPA entity classes are all set up and ready, so the next step is to create the front end of this application. So we say these are our entity classes that we want to generate a front end from, and for the first time you can specify that you want to have prime faces components generated as the front end. So this is completely new in NetBeans 8. Directly generate a prime faces front end. No tweaking afterwards, nothing. So of course we need to include prime faces, the component library itself, and then this library is added to the palm file together with all the other related artifacts that are needed by prime faces. You can take a look now at the um, palm file. So we're just going to collapse a couple of the packages to get down to the palm file and open it into the palm editor and there are various views in here, one of which is a graph view. And what is nice and new in NetBeans 8 is that you can switch between different layouts of the graph view. So here there is a hierarchical view um, there's also a vertical view and there's a horizontal view. So depending on how many dependencies you've got in your palm file, depending on the layout, depending on a whole bunch of different factors, a different way of um, putting out the dependencies in the graph um, could be useful. So you can switch between different layouts and also you can exclude dependencies directly from this graph view. So if one of the dependencies doesn't suit your needs, you can just right click on it, say delete, and it will be deleted from the palm file. Also, if we go inside of one of the prime faces files that have been created, you can see we can use code completion to complete the um, JSF expressions that you see there. So that there's support for the JSF expression language in terms of its code completion and also navigating to the artifacts from the view into the entities and um, beans. What you see here now is we have deployed the application and we have now a complete CRUD application. So there is, for each of the JPA entity classes that we started with, we've created um, a, a list view, we've created a page for, um, for editing and for creating a new uh, record in the, in the table. So it's a complete CRUD application that's been created for us, and we haven't touched a single line of code. So this gives us a starting point for creating our own applications, especially since all of the templates that you've seen can be configured. So you're not locked into the templates that NetBeans provides. Plus, as you can see, there's integration between the browser, whether it's the internal browser or the external Chrome browser, and a live DOM view inside NetBeans. And the final thing to show is um, if you look inside the prime faces files, you can use code completion and also you can see the documentation from prime faces has been included inside NetBeans. So you can learn about prime faces right directly in NetBeans. And that's it. Have fun with NetBeans and prime faces.